Hey everyone, welcome back to Style Novus and another Christmas inspired recipe. Today I'm sharing with you how to make gingerbread truffles. So gingerbread always reminds me of Christmas, right? The gingerbread houses that you can make, gingerbread men that you give away as gifts leading up to Christmas. What is better than gingerbread biscuits? The gingerbread raw biscuit dough of course. Take that, roll it in some chocolate and some coconut and you've basically got some gingerbread truffles. So keep watching to find out how you can make yours. To make your gingerbread truffles you will need 50 grams of softened butter, a quarter cup of maple or golden syrup, half a cup of packed brown sugar, half a teaspoon vanilla, one and a quarter cups flour, one teaspoon baking powder, three quarters of a teaspoon cinnamon, one and a quarter teaspoons ginger, a quarter teaspoon salt, some white chocolate suitable for melting and some coconut and or some edible glitter. In a large mixing bowl, beat together your butter, syrup and sugar. Add in the vanilla and mix well. Next, add in your dry ingredients, your flour, spices and salt. Mix well until all combined. If your mixture is still too dry to form a ball shape when pressed together, add some milk in a tablespoon at a time until you have the mixture that you can roll and that will keep its shape. Before we do roll, cover your mixing bowl and chill for 30 minutes. After chilling a teaspoon amount at a time, roll into small balls and place in or on something that will fit in your freezer. Freeze the balls for just 15 minutes while you prepare the chocolate. Melt your chocolate according to the instructions on the packet. The easiest way is in the microwave. Work in short intervals to avoid overheating it. With your chilled balls, roll these into your hot melted chocolate with a spoon and then dip into your coconut or your final toppings. Store these in an airtight container and they'll last for around 5 days of the Christmas period. Perfect for a treat with a cup of tea when guests arrive. So that is it for today's recipe. I hope you've enjoyed making these gingerbread truffles with me today. These would also make the perfect gift if they last long enough. They certainly didn't in my house. To review that recipe again, the written and step-by-step -step instructions are available to view on my blog, like always, by following the attached links. I'll see you next Christmas series video. Bye.